Hey, Snap fam, Lemire T right back at you with another quick training video. This one is going to dive into how we identify kids by their order on the back of the order when we're sending them back to the league or the client. But before we dive into this video, take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get alerts for every time that we drop a new video to the channel. Leave a comment on this one because we'd love to hear what you have to say. Share this with your friends and family members and make sure you give it a thumbs up as well as we dive into how we identify each kid by each order that's getting back to the league or the client. Now, the reason why I specify these orders are going back to the league or client because you do not have to go through this process when a parent has made an order that's being shipped to them directly. So what we do is we make sure that we're going to be able to identify each kid to make it an easy process for our clients passing out these orders. They can have sometimes upwards of a couple hundred orders that can be delivered back to them. And instead of going through trying to match up the kid's face, it's easier for them just to grab the order form, turn it around to the back, and to be able to look and find the kid's name. What you'll want to do is open up a Word document. Once you've opened up a Word doc, you're going to simply put in the name of the kid. Once you've got the kid's name in there, you'll want to do so for all of the different kids. Make sure you get everyone's name on one sheet of paper. And the easiest way to get everyone's name on one sheet of paper is when you have all the names listed out, go in up here and make sure you go to columns and two columns is what we're looking for. That way we've got everyone's name on one sheet of paper. From there, you'll simply want to make sure that you have the paper that you see listed here, load it into your printer. And you'll want to make sure that you have it faced upside down because that is the way our printers receive the paperwork, always upside down. Doesn't matter if it's this way or this way, just as long as it's in upside down. Once it's in upside down, then you'll hit print on it. And when it comes out, it'll look just like this. Now, the reason why we do it this way is for a couple reasons. One is we want to make sure that the name is big enough and bold enough that it is, is easily identifiable when the parent or the client goes to look for them. Also, we want to make sure that we're not wasting paper by putting as many names on one sheet of paper as we can. Once you've printed it, now it's just a matter of cutting it. And when it's been cut, then you'll take the order, turn it around to the back, and you'll simply just peel it and place it on the order. Once you've got everything placed on the order, now it's officially ready to go. This gives it a much more professional look instead of us writing on the back of the chipboard that's on the inside or writing on a piece of paper or anything remotely close. This gives it a more clean and professional look. So that's just a quick way that how we'll help our clients to identify each kid in their order. Again, this does not have to be done when parents have prepaid online or even after the fact to have them shipped directly to their home. Because it's the only order that we're sending to their home, there's no need to specify one child from another. But when a client is getting back a huge box of pictures that can have a couple hundred orders in it, we want to make it easy for them. Just to be able to go through, pick it up, turn it around to the back, and be able to see the sample name here and ultimately the name of the child to figure out who is who. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment. Tell us what you loved most about it or what you got from it. Hit that notification bell as well because we don't want you to miss out on the next time that we drop a video to the channel. Subscribe to this channel as well. Follow us on all of our social media platforms. And as always, we thank you for checking us out this time, and we'll see you next time, Snap Fam.